Right, let's see who's in here. Do you recognize any of these names? Lenny, uh, we recognize Lenny. Sorry if I don't, there's King Spectre versus Petrick. That could be, I think Petrick might be, is Petrick a Grand Champ? Uh, sorry if I go past your name and I should know you. There's Nation, we saw you in chat earlier. Gavilav, right, we'll stay well clear of that one. So a couple of the games have just started. Has King Spectre's game started? Right, yes it has, right, let's get in there. King Spectre versus Petrick. It's gonna be an interesting one. We probably should have made this like a uh, not five minute games, but anyway, it's gonna be best of one. Round of 1, 2, 8, 64, 32, 16, 8, 4, final. Seven rounds of best of one. So this shouldn't take too long. What a shot by Petrick, who I believe is a Grand Champ. He's RLCS Season 4 Elite. Um, going up against King Spectre, our loyal and lovely moderator. Also, streams on Twitch, so be sure to give him some love. Really up against it here, though, versus Petrick. This is Pinball, by the way, for anybody who didn't join earlier when I made this. What that means is the ball is small, the ball bounciness is high, the max speed is fast, and for the ball that is, and the ball weight is light. Patrick is taking this a little bit uh, carelessly at the moment. Uh, can King Spectre get a goal? It's going to be rough. He's looking um, pretty dodgy at the moment, and he does have that 100 ping all the way from America. That's a wide open net though, and he slots it in. King Spectre starting the comeback. Here we go. What an assist by Pat uh, Patrick. Look at that. Passing it right down onto him. I'm like diamond maximum. I, you can, I'm afraid you're wrong again, mate. Afraid you're wrong again. But if, if, you, if you know, if me being higher rank than you uh, really like hurts your feelings, we don't have to talk about it, you know? We don't have to talk about the fact that I'm higher rank than you. Improbs to that second account. To, I don't know what that name is trying to tell me, but yeah. We, you don't have to talk about it if it's going to make you upset. I, I won't bring it up. Don't worry about it. I won't bring it up. I'm not going to tell all your mates that you're a lower rank than Johnny who can't even hit a double touch. Inspector trying to dribble the pinball. Look at that. He's actually got the open net and he's put it in. Patrick needs to get his act together because King Spectre is really starting to come back here. Look at this. He has got two goals in a row. I thought he was down and out of this, but Patrick has been a little bit careless. King Spectre has taken both of his chances. He's playing very well. Oh, you could play with 256 ping. Look at you. Oh, very fancy. 100 ping's not that bad. I could play with 1,000 ping. Get out of here. 100 ping's like... <laughs> like you try reacting to a pinball with 100 ping. It's a nice finish by Patrick. He made sure of that by getting up really high um, initially. I'm platinum definitely better than you. I'm sure you are, mate. I'm sure you are. I'm sure there's. I'm sure that there's a reason that you're stuck in platinum, uh, and it's not because you're just not, not better than Johnny Boy at Rocket League. Patrick again getting up very high, trying to calculate this one, and he does. Five two. Great uh, finishing by both players. That being said, Patrick has got the stylish finishes, no doubt about that. Best caster at playing Rocket League, probably James Bot. I don't know if he's practicing much right now, but probably James Bot. Um, that is a beautiful shot by Patrick. Well played. Nice post. Um, King Spectre needs to start start scoring goals again. Obviously to win the game, but also because I'll leave if he's just getting crushed. It looks like Patrick is feeling very, very confident. Did he get a second touch there? No, I don't think so. I don't think so. I literally don't play and I'm better than you. See, that's the logic. I, I like that. That's much better. That's much better. That's the sort of logic I can get behind. Oh no, is this just rolling in? King Spectre, don't let it roll in, Hen. He's got the defense to deal with that one. But can he Can he deal with this shot? No, he can't. And look at how difficult this is to save. King Spectre thought he had a little bit of time, but he did not. Because this is a pinball, ladies and gentlemen. Wait. I promised I would tier 3 sub if there was less than 20 people in that bronze tourney, but I can't upgrade on my phone for you some reason. You thought there would reason. be 20 people. I hope you miss every shot in your ranked game. <laughs> Salt. 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 20 quid. Salt. I don't know how on earth you thought Salt. there would be more than 20 Salt. people Salt. in that uh, Salty tournament. Gregan thought Gregan is pretty decent. Gregan's pretty good at 2v2. I don't know if he's... Uh, I don't know how good he is at 3v3. Not played him in ages at threes. But uh, James Bot's pretty good. He's very good at like solo threes and uh, 2v2. You can get like Grand Champ and everything. I know every season Shogun just makes it a point of just squeezing into Grand Champ right at the end of the season, which is pretty funny. Um, 
but also you know fairly impressive when you look at his mechanical ability. So yeah, I think Gregan and Shogun are pretty good at twos. Um, Cole is actually pretty good at threes as well. He's pretty good. Stumpy, my boy Stumpy, he's improving also. But uh, I I don't know. I think when it comes to threes, I'm probably better than all of them because they're all like massive pansies. They just all play so they play so defensive and scared. No gonna lie. But uh, that's that's another story. One more goal for Patrick is surely gonna put this beyond all doubt. And there it is. So we're gonna say goodbye to King Spectre. And no doubt we're going to see Petrick further on in the tournament because he had a little bit of fun with this one and he still won pretty handily. Let's go and take another look at the bracket. We do dip out of uh, any game that's looking one-sided. So a lot of players already progressed here. So Jasper and Olaf both won their game one. Or no, wait, did Jasper win his game one easily? Oh, you got a free win. Olaf won 3-1 or 3-0 in round one. And it looks like the other player forfeited. Jasper is currently leading 3-1. Lenny is progressing with a 4-0 and then a forfeit. Look at that. Oh, Nation, you're out. Rip, dude. Unlucky. Kind of hoping that Lenny's going to become spectatable. All right, that's a 1-0. Let's, let's go into Jackiel versus CDG Velocity. Wait, CDG, isn't that Shard de Gaulle? We got um, airport security here up against, uh, what was it, Velocity? Oh, no, Velocity is, is the airport security. Jack versus airport security. Or just somebody from, at the airport is, like, moving fast. Jack, you're going to have to be a little bit more aggressive than that, mate. You can't be doing uh, reactive defending against a pinball moves far too fast. Thanks for the 100 bits, uh, Baby Freeze. He says, I have no clue how this works. Well, you managed it. So that's impressive stuff. So not enough speed on that takeoff. See, see what I did there? Not enough speed uh, on Velocity's takeoff. He needs to be careful not to misread the pinball. Because it will bounce very high. That's one thing that Petrick did excellently in game one. In round one, rather, against King Spectre. He was making sure to overcompensate um, with the, with his uh, reads and the ball's bounciness as it will go up very high. Velocity is not in fact AFK. That would have been a disaster. Jackiel did not spot that and he missed the wide open net on the kickoff. I'm calling it a wide open net because you can you actually can just boom at unstoppable shots from the kickoff if the other player is not there. Let's see if Jackiel can get his act together here. We're going to give him a little bit of a uh, chance to come back. That's a great chance. He's boomed it into the crossbar. Oh no. Jackiel, that has got to be the best opportunity that's gone astray that I've seen yet this day. However, I bet there will be a much better open at missing that later on. I guarantee it. By the way, Zelda Techie, um, you can, I don't think you can upgrade subs in your mobile. Can you tier 3 sub on mobile? I don't think you can. I think you can only do tier 1 subs on mobile. Prime subs and uh, upgraded subs are PC only at the moment, for my stream at least. Did pretty good RL6 giveaway, how about you? Let's see if... Um, Let's see if Velocity can keep up uh, his stellar form at the moment. He's been a little bit careless with these hits. These are losing control of the ball, inviting Jackiel into the play. Is it Jackie? No, it's Jackiel. Look at that off the wall though, and that's going to be enough. Velocity realizing that Jackiel had vacated his net once again, and even though he bounces it off a wall on the way to the net, it's still got more than enough speed. Jackiel, not enough respect for the pinball. You must respect the pinball. It's a fast little thing. You can use mobile browser to upgrade. Oh, okay. Oh, that's true. So if you can't actually uh, upgrade your sub or sub with Twitch Prime on mobile, just go to like your Safari app or whatever like internet app you have in your phone. And that should let you do it. It's just the Twitch app itself that doesn't let you do it. Another chance for Velocity to put five past Jackie. We're really just waiting to see. If we get that five goal gap, then we are going to dip and find another game. Velocity has a chance to eliminate Jackie L from the stream vision, but not yet from the tournament. You never know, Jackiel might be able to rack a couple of kickoff goals together, or Velocity might just disconnect. You might get a call from uh, the help desk, They're like, we need you, sorry, we need you at Terminal 7 right now. Don't even know what they call the terminals at CDG. I've only been there once. Story about that, I was um, flying from CDG, that's in the, the Paris airport, the biggest airport in Paris. I don't know if they have more than one, but it's a massive airport. And obviously, need a passport for that to get back into the UK. And I didn't buy my ticket. It was Gfinity that bought my ticket, and they got my name wrong on it. So I was, you know, just about to go check into my flight, and then I realized they put my name, they spelled my name wrong in the ticket, so I can't check in because it doesn't match my passport. And I'm like, oh no. <laughs> Am I going to get stuck in Paris? I really didn't want to get stuck in Paris. It was nice for, for one night, but I was like, I need to get out of here. Too humid. I've got uh, to cast in London tomorrow. 
But uh, yeah, fortunately we gave them, we gave Gfinity a quick bell on the phone and they were like, oh, oh, yeah, sorry, we'll fix that for you. As a, a sixth stand of the game though, CDG looking very good, looking at, looking splendid. Looking a lot better than their airport security when I was there. I just did not enjoy their airport security at all. I couldn't find it. It was a problem. It was like, not a very uh, intuitive airport. Obviously some airports, you can't really go wrong. You just follow the maze uh, or the, you follow the one path. It's not really a maze. It's just like the one way you can go. The CDG, their, their security was like hidden at the bottom of an escalator and I was like, what is going on here? Very, very strange. Maybe it was just me. But yeah, that's going to be game for Velocity, no doubt. He has taken this one. Let's go and uh, find a game that might be closer. Um, I'm sure as we get further into the tournament, games are more likely to be closer. There's a pretty close one, actually. Well, let's catch the tail end of this one. Another round of 64 game at the very top of the bracket. Naturally and has 16. Thanks for the prime sub. Much appreciated. Welcome, uh, welcome to the stream. I almost said welcome back. It might be welcome back. Hard for me to remember all the names. How did, did Philippe Coutinho just miss that boost or did he did, did it bug or something? I, I swear he drove through it and he still had zero. Either way, Ben has the one goal lead. 20 seconds remaining. This is the sort of Rocket League casting I could get used to. Just 20 seconds and we're done. Is that going to be 2-0? No, not enough power on it. And Philippe Coutinho with a big chance. He's got... He's got an opportunity here, but he needs to put the ball on target. And he's not really done his best with that shot. It's maybe going to bounce all the way in. Ben has the open net, grounds it, and progresses to the round of 32. I was, uh, I had big, I had big plans there for, uh, for Philip Coutinho. I thought he had a good chance to, to put that one in. It looked promising. Uh, the problem being, he didn't turn off ball cam. And that sort of confused him as to where he was. Did pretty good, Yolo Mark. How are you doing? Listen, that's not a humble brag, original Sharpie. I'm just not very really good at remembering names. I've never, never been good at that. Oh, per perfect. Another 35 second 3-4 uh, game. Oh my goodness. What a shot by Kill Pro 2. That must be one of the biggest pop-offs I've ever seen. He did not wait long to introduce himself to the street. Top corner, far post. Absolute boomer by Kill Pro 2 to tie the game with 31 seconds left. In a best of one. Oh no, surely he's not going to concede a kickoff goal after trying so hard. No, he's got bumped as well. Oh, the shot's not powerful enough though. Still kill pro on the ropes. He's not got any boost and you have to be so careful. You're not going to make it back to your net in time to catch a pinball with no boost. Still none. He's hoping this corner is going to spawn. I think it just spawned right behind him. There it is, in fact. He didn't time that to perfection. And a chance for an Icerion or an Iceron. Can't really read this. He's looking for a team, so maybe after today he'll find a team. They'll be so impressed by his pinball prowess. Light touch to the backboard. Looking for the rebound. Puts it in! Are you kidding me? Nicer on with the clutch play on zero seconds. He notices Kill Pro's hesitation and he punishes him. Look at that. Beautiful stuff. Both of these guys. Only good shots. Well done. Only good shot, only boomers. Point blank range, we're just gonna boom it in anyway. Oh, I kinda wanna follow his journey. We need to see more of Niceron. Right, he's against top LFT. Well, let's just wait. <laughs> let's just let's just wait for that to become spectatable. We need to see more of the, the man, the myth, the legend. Who else have we got down here? We're already in a progress of this round of 16 game. Uh, at the bottom. No, this is round of 32 game, actually. For Dan, Dan starts fires. He'd, uh, Make great friends with Nate Mike. All right, we've got one more. Petrick still looking very good. His journey thus far. Oh, he actually had a very close game here. Curious as to whether that game played out all the way through. I'd be very surprised if Petrick only managed to put two goals past someone in uh, in five minutes of pinball. Come on. Any minute now. Nice run. I want to see more of your gameplay, dude. What, a, what an introduction. What a way to absolutely entice an audience. That's how you do it. You just wait until Johnny joins your game and then blast up. Well, first of all, your opponent blasts the ball top corner and then you score a zero second rebound to take it. Incredible stuff. You just got eagled by me. Wait. Did I ignore your donation? Wait. Did I? No, I didn't. I just said you destroyed Brisky yesterday. Yeah, yeah, see? I just take a while to get to it sometimes. No rush. Nil nil. Almost a minute and a half gone here. Top and nicer on both looking for teams. Top had a much easier task in round one and two than nicer on did, who had to score on zero seconds. Oh no, Top, you've been it. Can nicer on find the finish? Yes, he can. Not the most convincing rebound, but he did hit the ball, which is one better than Top, who completely beaned it. 
he might be feeling nervous because he managed to defend his net for a minute and 20 seconds before I got in here. As soon as I start spectating, he falls to pieces. He's got to step up his game. He's got three minutes to do so. Johnny is 35. He used to sell ice cream. Are you just telling somebody what I did before I was a streamer? Well, I'm not 35. Um, I've never sold ice cream before. I, I know a pretty good joke about about ice cream, but I'm not, I'm not, I'll save that for another time. Uh, Matt Sternicus, thanks Less for the 500 bits. I appreciate that, man. Good save by Niceron. Uh, Niceron save. <laughs> Do you see what I did there? Very clever stuff by me. Congratulations to myself. Niceron needs to be careful. He did not um, keep top in his in his vision there. He's leaving ball cam on an awful lot here. Not spying on his opponent. And you need to, when they're doing things like this, oh my word. Well, if the goal was about 10 times bigger, that would have been a top corner shot, to be fair. Unfortunately for top, the goal's uh, just a regular size. Still waiting for the day that Psyonix, uh, they unleash the goal size mutator. That'll be a great day. That'll be phenomenal. Uh, why ball small and hits are more powerful, lol. Why not? Oh! The top DC or something. You could definitely blame Psionic servers in this one these days. Either that or he has forgotten how to turn left. He's just turned the wrong way. Top. You need to defend that shot. It's just rolling into your box, mate. You can't just drive away and hope that they're going to miss. That's uh, ambitious, to say the least, by Top. I kind of hope that he accidentally just drove right. He's like, right, let's just turn left. Oh, I've done it again. I've turned right. <laughs> Sometimes that happens when you're reversing in Rocket League, but it's, it's rare that uh, even the lowest level player will just straight up turn the wrong way. Um, but Top, might just, he might just be feeling the pressure. He really might just be feeling the pressure of over a thousand eyes looking at him, staring at his every move, and spamming Omega Lol. Nice Siron, on the other hand, he is just thriving the pressure. This is what he was born to do. Another great finish. 3-0. Well over half the game gone. Why am I skipping you? Wait. I ask you to make another turn after this one. Not today. Sorry. If I, if I skip you, it's not nothing personal, mate. Like I know a lot of uh, viewers, they see me um, you know, they, they see me uh, reply to a question. Or a comment that's immediately above yours and you think, oh, cool, he, he read that, so he'll read mine because mine's underneath. But sometimes I don't really have time to read everything in chat. I just, like, dive in, spot something, read one thing, and then go back to casting. Uh, but it's nothing it's nothing personal. I'm not, like, I'm really not choosing people because I know their name. I just see somebody writing that Johnny Boy and then something else, and I just read it out. So sorry if I miss, uh, miss your question. You'll definitely be more likely to get an answer from me in more chilled out streams. Don't have any time for that right now with such a comeback on the on the cards. Oh no, Top has hit the underside of the crossbar on an open net. And Niceron will put in his open net across the field. Bit of an easier open net. Tell the tell the ice cream joke. I don't know. You guys won't laugh. It'll be embarrassing. It'll be embarrassing. I don't want to tell a joke and it go down badly, you know? I saw it on like, uh, there was a Reddit thread today and it was like, what was the title? Is that just in? Okay, it's not. The Reddit thread's title was um, something like, what's your go-to joke that never fails? And I was reading them and I was like, hold on, whoa, whoa, whoa. Nice, on calm yourself, mate. You're gonna kill someone. I mean, there's winning a game and then there's just sending someone to hospital. If that ball was an inch lower top, it's gonna just get demoed by the ball for the first time in Rocket League history. Whoa. But uh, yeah, like I was saying, Jokes that don't fail. One of them was really, really good. It was an ice cream joke with a penguin. I, I liked it. I thought it was very funny. I thought it was very funny. I don't know. Maybe it's a bit inappropriate. I don't know if I should say it. <laughs> nice run. We could just dip out of this game. It looks like he's got this in the bag. Um, uh, I hope we get to see more of him later. But what a performer. He is just uh, a fan favorite, a crowd pleaser. He knows exactly what he's doing. He knows how to build a brand. Ben crushing Nanabelle in uh, their round of 32 match. Vanilla also progressing fairly easily. And Azure, lots of very one-sided games here in the upper side of the bracket. Every uh, game one-sided there. Mickey, um, hanging on though. Let's see what, Let's see how he's getting on. The suspense is killer. I'm not saying the joke. You guys are not going to laugh. You're all going to do like cool story Bob emo or something. You know, you're all just going to be like, ha, yeah, good, yeah, really funny, Johnny. Well done. So that's a great pass from Mickey. Straight to 0 3 20, so he's at, wait. 27 past 3 p.m. Oh, another great pass, but pre-jump by... Oh! If that had gone in, the pull shot. 
this is a, a tie game, in case, you all are, in case you hadn't noticed. I know some of you are watching on mobile and you can't see the score. It's all tied up at two all. That's just for you guys. This uh, PM evades Mickey's demolish. Mickey using a lot of boosts here to try and get into position. Is he going to save the shot? Yes, he is. The shot really didn't have enough venom in it. It's far too Masumune. This is on target. But 0 3 2 7 p.m. Clanks it clear. And are we going to go to overtime? I smell an overtime. And I'm definitely a man who does trust my nose. I've always trusted my nose. Uh, is that a Masumune? Is it a Jaeger? I don't know. It looks like a Masumune to me. I think it is. Is it a Masumune? A Masumune? Um, is it the one about the mechanic? Yes. Yeah, yeah, that one. I like that joke. Yeah, see, somebody in chat could probably just get Brian to read the joke. He'll, he'll be better than me. You can find it on Reddit today. It was like a thread, something like, um, your go-to joke that never fails. Mickey with another good save. I've never seen anybody be so reactive in a goal against a pinball. This is usually a death sentence, but 0 3 27 p.m. Doing the same thing. Both these guys are just looking to counterpunch each other. Are we going to have an aerial? Yes, we are. Way off target, though. And now Mickey has an opening. Can he put this on target himself? Not even close. Center ball. Still in the area. Mickey with a little bit of a fake um, attack there. Manages to get 0 3 27 p.m. to pass the ball back to him. He's got the territory. Creeps up a little bit too close. Puts it wide. And hesitation by 0 3 27 p.m. You could tell he was nervous to miss the open net there. He had it wide open, but he took too long. And Mickey with the punish. He says, if you're going to sit back there like a mouse in his house, I'm going to step in, you know, kick the door down, flip your table, and knock you out of the tournament. Four minutes into overtime, Mickey finally gets the job done. Wait, was it four minutes or one minute into overtime? One minute into overtime, sorry. The, the overtime goes backwards in, the, in these tournaments for some reason. Right, Ben versus Nicer. Do we just want to see how Ben and Nicer run into it? Oh, Nicer runs up against it. I feel like we need to just spectate Nicer on. What a champion. Yeah, just donate, uh, donate to hear Johnny, uh, hear to Johnny to hear the joke. Jibated. Nicer on losing at the moment. And that is a good save by Ben. Good reaction at the near post. Oh, he left it open though. Nicer on not able to take it this time. And with how good his finishing has been, that is a little bit of a surprise. He's been putting shots in at a billion miles an hour from all angles. He just has no regard for human life or the cars that, they, uh, the, that the drivers are in. Or do Rocket League cars have drivers? Would it, would it be rated E for everyone if Rocket League cars had drivers? What happens if you demo somebody? What if they have a family? Thanks for gifting a sub to uh, Patrick. King Spectre. Is that Patrick from the, from the pinball tournament? Is that him? Is that him? Either way, King, thanks for gifting that sub. That's your eighth sub gift in the channel. I appreciate it, man. What rank is this? I've got absolutely no idea. I haven't got a monkeys. Ben is he's dispatching with the fan favorite, though. And in comfortable fashion, 2 0. Pretty good stuff. And another opportunity. Gets it over the top and ice around, but not on target just yet. And again, wide. Actually, coming off the inside of the post there. That did not look like it was going to happen. Oh, no, nicer on. For the first time in his stream career. He beans it completely. He sent that way wide, and Ben won't make the same mistake. 3 0. This could be the end of nicer on. He might have met his match here. Open net miss at one end. Open net going in at the other, and nicer on flipping the wrong way on the challenge. That is not what you want to see. Yes, it's a Masamune. All right, calm yourself. No need to get all feisty. Nicer on, he's shacking. I mean, he's on a win streak now, and he's worried that the streak, you know, is, is going to end at some point. Right, you could definitely boom this. We've seen this before. Look at the placement. Ben ready to pre-jump into the top uh, top left corner as we're looking at it from nicer on's perspective. He just went top right. And that is a little bit of a change of tune for Niceron. He's mixing it up. Usually, we'd see him blast that. This time, he focused more on the placement. Excellent stuff. He's not done yet. His tournament run, far from over. And with shots like this, he's been given more life. Ben helping it along. I don't know if it was on target. Let's take a another look from Niceron's POV. I think that might just be squeezing in. I think off the post, but going in uh, is what that shot was doing. We could actually, we'll save that replay. We'll maybe catch it later. You went and read the joke. Don't know uh, if I should be proud or upset at you. It's a good joke, mate. It's an excellent joke. I like it. Yeah, the one with the penguin, the car, and the uh, ice cream. That one. 
Yeah, I loved it. I thought it was such a good joke. Here! Nicer on just when it looked like he was in a really rough spot. Missing an open net, falling behind by three goals. Did he rally very quickly or did he rally very quickly? We're in a tight game, barely, into, uh, barely more than two minutes into this one. The only game that matters for both these guys, as this is all going to be best at one all the way to the final today. Nice run. Is that going to bounce on target? Oh my goodness, it almost goes in. He puts it in off the inside of the post. Rebound. And Ben has got to be scratching his head thinking, where did this man come from? How has he suddenly gotten so much better? Look at that reaction by Niceron. He almost went too far, but he's stuck at home. And he's got the lead for the first time in the game. 4-3. 2.39 on the clock. Niceron, he really does thrive on stream, doesn't he? He was losing when we joined him. Dropped another few goals, took a while to warm up, but now he is just firing on all cylinders. All guns blazing. He's looking for a wave dash demo, doesn't catch it. There's the bump, he scored Ben. He's going to look to do the same to the ball. Has a wide open net, Ben is miles out of the play. Nicer on with the patient finish. 5-3. And I actually can't believe this. I thought when Ben was just... Running around the field, he had way better quality of fits. Nicer on was getting nowhere near him. Completely missed an open net. It looked over already, and we were only about a minute and 30 seconds in. But I should never have doubted the man. Should never have doubted him. That's an excellent shot by Ben. It's probably going to bounce over the bar, though. That is the danger of the pinball. Look at the timing by Nicer on. Clipping it with the back end of his car as he flips forward. To put it backwards at a serious rate of knots. Another open net miss for Nicer on. After this happened earlier in the game, we did see Ben score in the counter, and it looks like we're going to get that same situation again, unless Niceron can stop it, which he can't. Twice in a row that Niceron's missed an open net. He doesn't check to see what Ben's doing. He lets his guard down. He's got to be careful when he misses these open nets across the far post. There's going to be a shot coming much, much faster than a regular Rocket League game. And he's not quite yet fixed his uh, autopilot. Adjusted a rebound chance for Ben. Puts it on target, but what a save! For once, the Champions Field announcer couldn't be more right. Nice run again, looking threatening a lot. Off Sting on that shot. Bit of a giveaway on the rebound, though. Came back so fast, he wasn't able to position in time to give it another go. Ben is backing off. Nice run, misses his aerial. Sticks around for more ball pressure. Chance for Ben. Shoots to the far post. That is off the inside of the upright. And again, nice run reacts in time. Good speed by Nicer on Ben, coming in from a far angle. Didn't really give himself a chance there. And he's turned his back to Nicer on. That's always a bad idea, but another open net miss. Chance for Ben to punish. And that is the third time in a row that he's done that. The third open net miss for Nicer on that Ben has put straight into the goal at the other end. So clinical play versus, I think, the ability to play at a higher level when he is uh, playing at his best. Nicer on certainly has looked the better of the two players, but he's also looked like the beanier of the two players. The long shot. This time, nowhere near enough power. Ben definitely sent it back with plenty. Bit of a giveaway, see what you did there. Hint your name. I see what you did there, mate. See what you did there, 35 seconds left. We are all tied up. Ben with a huge chance, and he will take it. Nicer on, has to dig deep. He's done so in the past. Came back from three goals down earlier, but that is no more than a pass to your opponent. And we've seen how accurate Ben's open at shooting is. Doesn't matter what distance he's shooting from, he can find that target like a dagger to the heart. Can Nicer on come back? He's got 30 seconds to do it, and that might be on target from the kickoff. Indeed it is. And Ben has made this an even harder task. This could be the end of the fan favorite. He uh, started today looking for the team. I don't think he's found one just yet, but he did find a lot of people's hearts that have been watching today. But with another wild shot going miles over the bar, it might be time to say goodbye to Niceron. He needs to score, and he needs to score right now. Tries to go for the long shot off a couple walls, but this is just hitting hope from both players. And there is far more hope for Ben, certainly, to win this game. We'll uh, have to keep an eye on his run now. He's carrying the torch. As nicer on, is eliminated. Ben moves on, and I believe that is into the quarterfinals, unless I'm mistaken. We're going to save that replay because uh, I want to see later on what was going on with that. Uh, wait, I can't remember why I saved it. I did save it for a reason, though. So we're into the quarterfinals now. Patrick has made it 
uh, all the way. He had a tough, actually, tough round of 16 games, 6 to 5. Let's, uh, who do you guys want to see? So you've got one, two, or three. Press in the chat right now. One, two, or three, depending who you want to get into. Three. Yeah, I see a three in the chat. I just wanted to get some, a uh, little bit of chat input there. Yeah, a, quite a lot of threes. Yes, let's do it. it. It was the only game that was tied up on the bracket. No longer tied up as Velocity puts one in just as we appear. Savvy wasn't able to get back in time for this one. Oh, he would have been able to save that had he actually made contact. A little bit of a panic. That did happen before I joined the lobby. I don't think uh, he would have seen Johnny Boy has joined the game before he missed his uh, shot. Velocity, for the time being, looking like my pick to win this one. His movement is looking a lot cleaner than Sabi, who is uh, taking his time around the field. Not the best jump. He corrects it with a nice dodge, but unable to put the ball on target. That's one thing that you do notice a lot more at lower ranks, is when players jump up for aerials and low shots oftentimes they'll jump the wrong direction and they have to correct that by dodging left or right uh, to compensate Savvy did well with that uh, particular mechanic but it's not something that you want to be practicing really it's better to just jump in the right direction to start things off velocity still applying pressure Savvy really should have equalized by the way there was a shot not too long ago which um, I expected him to put on target Looking very, very dodgy at the near post. That is going to be a pass into the middle. Good line, though, by Sabi. He followed it well. Double jumps on accident. Quick recovery. It's going to prevent any danger. But misplays are still creeping in for Sabi, who looks to be playing quite nervous. What up, Zaz? How you doing, man? Doing another one of these? Yeah, we'll definitely do another tournament. We're, doing, we're going to do loads of tournaments. I'm having, I'm having a great time with this, um, honestly. Like, when I uploaded my first tournament video, I was hoping that... YouTube would like it because I really liked uh, the content and I enjoyed making it. That's kind of what it's like when you're making content. Savvy is going to tie this game. Careless play by Velocity on the back wall. Tries to jump off the wall here, but I think he got caught in the curve a little bit. See that? He's trying to jump off the curve. That's never a good idea. He had to make up his mind. Either jump from the deck or get up the wall and uh, intercept. That's an open net. And Savvy has worked so hard to tie the game. Just throw it away, all, all away on the kickoff. No, no more tournaments after this one today. This is going to be the last one for the day. Because uh, I've got to go out in about 20, 25 minutes or something like that. Got to go out tonight. Um, yeah, I'm enjoying I'm enjoying the tournaments a lot. Ho hopefully you guys are enjoying the, the tournaments. It gives a chance for, you know, players to finally... I know a lot of players in the past and a lot of people have wanted to play on my stream and I've had to be pretty selective because who do you choose, right? Who do you, who do you, who do you invite on stream? You can't just let one person in say no to another because that's not fair oh Sabi you've got to be scoring those and he's missed it or has he both posts coming to play and the demo is going to open up the gate for long enough to put it on target finally look at this ball it's bounced across the goal twice and eventually Sabi is able to put it in to the open net I thought this was going to be a bit more one-sided with how um, dodgy Sabi looked when I joined this one and we saw Velocity earlier on playing fairly well himself but this is completely even, and it does happen a lot on stream. I swear it's not scripted. I promise. I swear to me, mum. Yeah, we're having a good. I'm having a good time. Tournament. I don't know. It, in the future, I'm sure we're gonna start to remember names like players who do well in one tournament. They might come back and play well in another. Um, that could be. That could be a lot of fun to keep track of. What on earth is that emo, King Spectre? Hot date. Now you know me. Just uh. <laughs> Just gonna go out and uh, cry at the river because I'm so lonely. Nah, I, 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 I like to, I like to be secretive with, uh, obviously, with every, all of my shenanigans, everything that I get up to, off stream. Maybe one day I will do an, uh, an IRL stream. We'll reveal something about how autistic we are in person. We'll see. We'll clock. see. But it's not this day. Look at that shot by Sabi. Nearly finds the top corner. Velocity is. Down by a goal with 50 seconds left. I said I expected him to win. And i um, been very surprised that he's not been able to put more shots on target. Because when he does, Savi has not looked consistent. He completely misses. A very simple bouncing ball. Oversteer. Slow approach. That is not a good combination when you're about to take off for a low aerial. Or any aerial, for that matter. Another close game in the quarterfinal. One of these players will make the top four. 
One of them will be going home. Still, both have done well to make it this far. This is uh, their fourth, no, this is their fifth match. They're on a four win streak currently. Both of them almost a good dribble there by Velocity. Not easy to dribble the pinball. So props for trying. Wall shot or rebound shot by Sabi. Not even close. And now chance. I like that challenge by Sabi as Velocity was about to pull the trigger. Now that's a little bit of a waste by uh, Velocity. He's gifted Sabi the final chance of the game. Don't know if Sabi's going to be able to do much with it though. And indeed, we are going into overtime. We might do another tournament tomorrow, nice run. GG's, by the way. Hilarious games. I loved, uh, loved spectating you. It was, it was a pleasure. Uh, we might do a tournament tomorrow before I go to, to London for Gfinity. Wait a minute. Double touch for Velocity. He's off target with it, though. The Sabi does make contact. Now, an open net off sorts. Of course, I'm calling things open nets just because it's pretty much impossible to save a shot without pre-jumping, even from that distance when it's bouncing that quickly. See, the overtime does count down uh, from uh, it during tournaments. It confuses me a lot of the time. I'm like, I do not remember this overtime being this long. Um, but it's counting down. Just over 30 seconds into this one. Sabi with a big chance, and he will put it in. The presence of a goalkeeper really doesn't matter when you have to save a pinball shot from this close range. Usually... You'd have half a chance of reaching that one, but not today. And Sabi has eliminated. Uh, he has eliminated Velocity. I thought Velocity was going to take that, not going to lie. Petrick also moving on in a fairly uh, one-sided matchup. More one-sided than uh, Sabi versus Velocity. Ben versus Vanilla is currently ongoing. Let's hop in there because it's the only match that is still happening in the tournament right now. Uh, both or the, the semi-finals are currently waiting for players to advance. Ben is now 6-3 up. This is the player that just eliminated um, our, our friend Niceron. Uh, Jesse, get get ruined, mate. Uh, wait, can you, like, experiment with that? It only shows up if you mouse over it, right? It only shows up if you mouse over it. Vanilla from close range. Nice placement. The bounce shot will go top corner. Ben is not out of the woods yet. We're back into a two-goal game. This is exactly the deficit that Vanilla had to surmount when we joined the game. I don't even know what that means, or else it's giveaway. I don't even know what that means. Man, I don't know. Like, there's there's a, a weird like sort of dynamic in Twitch chat, right? I don't know if you guys are familiar with this. I'm sure Jesse might be. But you know plebs who are just incredibly talkative? Like, a pleb is somebody who's not subbed. Uh, no Twitch Prime, just like a, just a name, right? Vanilla is coming back here, by the way. Yeah, really, really talkative plebs. I'm always like, what are they up to, you know? <laughs> What's going on there? Because usually you'll, you'll have somebody who's like, you know, got some logo beside their name. Seeing plebs uh, is great. Uh, I'm never going to be sub mode. I don't think I'll always. Well, I'll certainly release the plebs regularly because uh, you got to let them go outside or else they start to smell bad. Oh, Ben almost getting an early dodge save, but Vanilla's tied the game here with a good long shot followed up by a nice kickoff goal. Good placement there. If he'd put that anywhere to the left, Ben would have been uh, right on saving it. Uh, it's my haircut. This, this, That's my haircut. Never heard of that before. I don't know. I don't go in and ask for that. I just like say I want, uh, you know, one back sides. Or a one up to a three back and sides. Uh, a line on that side, blind on the other, and trim on top. That's all. Tapered at the back. That's, that's, my, that's my haircut. If anybody wants to copy me. Should be Safe for the time being for Vanilla. Can you believe that we have another tie game here? Uh, so often on stream, games just end up being close. I, I think it's just because when players are winning, they just get nervous. And the players who are losing start to care a little bit less. And they get a little bit uh, less nervous. I stole that from... S S S Wait. The Hearthstone player. I've not seen a stream in ages. I know what you're talking about. Great streamer. But I've not, not seen him in ages. I, I had no idea he had this haircut. Who did I steal it from? I can't remember who I stole this from. I don't think I stole it from anybody, to be honest. One day I just asked, or no, one day the, the hairdresser just asked if I wanted a line, and I was like, sure. You know, it was just like his idea. Oh my goodness, Vanilla has somehow missed this ball. We need to take another look at this. It looked like he was going to get an easy save. Oh, he tried to be a little bit too cheeky there. Instead of just doing an anti half flip, that's where you front flip and throw your joystick down. So you land on your back and then hit the ball with your bum 
roll it into the corner safely. He tried to get a glancing blow mid-dodge, which is no, no mean feat. Both players making errors towards the end of the game. Who will make the worst error, though? Or will there be an error? Unforced. Can somebody elevate? Can they take a chance? Can they force the issue? Of course, those are plentiful in Pinball Rocket League. That is a booming clear, but no danger for Ben, who is ready for it. And a good chance for him. He's waiting for the ceiling bounce, which doesn't actually happen. Tough read, and not much power there on Ben's aerial. Still enough, though, to force Vanilla into the air himself, and that is noteworthy. As both players literally ponging the ball back and forth now. We're playing one touch Rocket League. Not a lot of boost here for Ben to be chasing after this ball at such speed. That did give Vanilla a chance. Speaking of chances, Vanilla had a huge opportunity there, but he didn't get around the ball in time. Third time lucky, he will take it. And Ben is not happy about that. He's just left the game immediately. He's not, not too happy with the outcome. Still though, getting into the semi-final is nothing to be ashamed of. Ben... Uh, or getting into the quarterfinal, rather. Nothing to be ashamed of. Ben has been eliminated. Um, and Boju has wait, is going to wait. He actually did come back against Mickey there. So that's going to be upper bracket there. And we're going to hop into Petrick versus Sabi. Actually, man alive. Petrick is crushing uh, Sabi. Absolutely crushing. Petrick is... I mean, he looked good in his, for his round one game against King Spectre. I'm sure King Spectre is feeling a little bit better about himself now. The, uh, the player who eliminated him has gone all the way into the semi-final and he's winning 6-1. We're waiting for Vanilla versus Bonjo to get started here. Then we're going to hop right into it. Look at those shoulders, Johnny boys, a tank. I really haven't. Right, let's go. It says nil-nil on the bracket. Hopefully, we will still be in a close game once we enter. Petrick, no doubt, waiting in the final for the winner of this match. But who's it going to be? Vanilla 2-0 when we finally get into the game. It only took him about 50 seconds to put two past his opponent. He needed eight to win the quarterfinal matchup versus Ben. Box golf tournament. How would we run a box golf tournament? I wish we could. That would be great. I'd love that. When is Johnny funny? I know, right? That's what I'm thinking. Like somebody saying you're less funny today. I'm like, what? Is that says more about my the other days, to be honest. <laughs> says more about me on my other days. Oh no! Nerves from Bonjo. Please tell me I'm not butchering this name completely, but. Surely he's not made it to the semi-finals of this tournament playing like that. As he opens the gate wide, wide open for Vanilla to get the easiest, easiest goal of his life. Thanks for the 200 Bitcoin uh, unwind circle. I appreciate that. Um, oh, you've, you've not, you've just made me read it out. I'm not going to read it out. <laughs> um... I want. I don't know. I'll maybe read out. I'll, I'll maybe tell you my joke later. You're, you're not gonna laugh though. None of you are gonna laugh. It's gonna be so embarrassing. We might have another very one-sided uh, semi-final here, which bodes well as two season six grand champions. Well, actually, I think Patrick is a season four RLCS elite, as he was a substitute, I believe, from last season's RLCS. Will he be up against it versus Vanilla, who I think didn't look on Patrick's level in his quarterfinal performance, but so far. He has done pretty well versus Bonjo. He needs to be careful of that. It was an extremely risky 50-50. As with all, uh, pretty much all Rocket League games, you don't want to be doing 50-50s with goalkeepers. Especially if you already have a lead like this. Got to make a statement. Got to get a crushing victory after a close quarter final. So you can pop off in the final. Bonjo now trying to control his way back into the game. I do respect that. But he's again gifted the ball to Vanilla who backed off. Expecting the hit, which never came. Uh, Vindal RL, thanks for the prime sub. Vindler, rather, RL. Thanks for the prime sub. Uh, how much was min for Brian to read it out? Oh, Unwind Circle, if you just didn't know, I feel bad. Please, no. Don't. No. Don't do it again. Don't, like, don't. Oh, no, don't cheer the same message just because Brian's going to read it this time. I feel bad because you beamed it. But, I mean, it is uh, 250. 250 Bitcoin to get Brighton to read a message, or three pounds, or a uh, resub. Like, they're all the same. They're all roughly about the same, like, amount of cost, usually, which is why I made it like that. Or maybe not, I mean, I guess they're not all the same cost. I guess donations are cheaper, but when it, when I actually receive the transaction, it's all pretty close. That's, that's why I made it those numbers, because they're all pretty similar. 
I was like, well, if Brian's going to say something stupid in my ear, I better be getting paid. <laughs> That's what I was thinking when I made, made it 250. So people were just spamming me. I had I, I used to have 100 bit as, uh, as the minimum amount. And people were just spamming it with, like, I, I couldn't put up with it anymore. That's a bit of dying. Oh, my goodness. Vanilla has just won. Bonjour is not happy with how he's playing. He's decided that he's not going to be able to come back here. And that means that we probably have a grand final already set up for us. Probably. Uh, there's a chance that Pedrick has lost, but he was winning 6-1. It's now 9-5. We've been able to... Okay, yeah, that match has ended. It's uh, It has ended. I think Petrick has just won that game. You know, to be fair to Sabi, 9-5 is a lot more respectable than 6-1. So he started coming back into it, but still very one-sided. Both of these semi-final games being won by a deficit of four goals. Oh, I can't tell you, you guys a joke after I've talked about it for this long. It's never going to be uh, funny anymore. Patrick is like diamond three and ones. I Jesse, you're diamond three and threes, mate. A penguin takes his car to a mechanic. The penguin asks, how long will it be? The mechanic says, just a few minutes. So the penguin decides to go get an ice. When the penguin gets there, he climbs inside the big freezer door and starts to eat ice cream. Okay. <laughs> okay. Ice cream, by Three way. hours go by before the penguin jumps out of the freezer and races back to the mechanic. With ice cream all over his face and his stomach, he asks, So how's my car? The mechanic walks out, wiping his hands on a rag and says, Looks like you blew a seal. The pen. <laughs> Brian, you can't stop talking mid-punchline. No! You ran out of text. Oh, what a disaster. You ran out of text mid-punchline. Oh, no. Oh, I don't even know what the text limit is on text-to-speech. But I'm not going to say the punchline. I'm not going to do it. I can't. Oh, that's just too cringe. The mid-punchline text-to-speech limit just ruined the joke completely. It was going to be so good. We have a one-all game here. I'm so glad that we're still tied up here. Oh, no. <laughs> See, yeah, Jesse, uh, Patrick wants to play Fortnite later. He's, he wants to carry you again in uh, Fork Knife. Vanilla versus Patrick. Season 6 Grand Champion versus RLCS Season 4 Elite. Octane versus Octane. 58 ping versus 16 ping, which could be, that could be huge in today's day and age. Big chance for Vanilla, but he's completely smashed the crossbar. That was a huge opportunity. I like that he was going for the top right. It made sense uh, to shoot that direction as Patrick was definitely free jumping across the net. Vanilla with another careless hit there though. Had he knocked it into the curve, it would have cleared dangerously towards Patrick's net. Oh no. The penguin says, no, I was just eating ice cream. Sick. Thanks Brian, that was great. Good stuff, excellent joke. So glad that I told you guys I had a good penguin joke about penguins and ice cream. Amazing. Hope it lived up to expectations. <laughs> Oh, that is a disaster. Double touch from Patrick. Goes wide. Uh, but yeah, thanks 5 Magics for 250 bits and unwound circle for the 600. That was funny stuff. That's funny. Look. <laughs> I thought it was like one. Like, listen, when I'm reading a joke, right? When I'm sitting in my room by myself reading a joke, that is a clear and a half. Hold on. Oh my word. Patrick with the snipe from end to end. Look at this off the back wall. Absolutely boomed it. And it grazed the ceiling, which allowed it to go in. I think it was not going to go in if it didn't hit that ceiling. So well played. Patrick is on point with his clears. And that is 2 minutes and 17 seconds left. Which means that a very low scoring game. One of the lowest scoring games we've seen all tournament. Both players positioning fairly well, respecting each other's long shots. Yeah, like I was saying, if you're just reading a joke, you know, you're reading a joke online. Um, and it makes you like giggle at all if you're just like, you know, if you make any audible noise Because usually if you see a great joke hilarious, you just like go You know, you smile a little creepy smile. You're like, yeah, you acknowledge internally that it was a good joke That joke, I was just reading all these bad jokes and I read that I was like, okay, that's pretty funny And I think I remember I did laugh. So I was like, that's, you know, it must be pretty funny if I like, audibly laughed I'm sitting here by myself in the morning drinking coffee reading bad jokes uh, <laughs> Thanks for all the rest of your bits, the 200. 
<laughs> no, I think honestly, you messing up the punchline made it even funnier. I like that. Very good stuff. A minute and 42 seconds separates Patrick from his tournament win. Maybe his first ever tournament win. I'm not sure if he's won a tournament before. Vanilla is not going to allow that to happen easily, though. And he puts one into Patrick's net to make it a one-goal game. Nice turnaround here by Vanilla. That was not an easy challenge to make while uh, setting himself up with the tackle. So he did well. Sorry, Dragon. Thanks for the Twitch Prime sub. I see what you did there. Appreciate it, man. Appreciate it. Wasn't that bad. You thought it was okay. Guys, listen. Like, rate my joke out of 10. 10 being good, 1 being bad. Just in the chat right now. 10 being good, 1 being bad. It's not even my joke. I just read it and I thought it was funny. It's some other guy's joke that I read. I was like, yeah, that's a pretty funny joke. Let's see. 8. I like you. I like you, Casper. 8. Okay, plus 7s, 4s, 5s. Right, not too bad. 5, 10. Yes, Magix. That is my man. So we tie the game. More 8s. 7s. Yes. I love it. Oh, this, these numbers are great. 12 out of 10. 5 out of 7. No, you can't give me 5 out of 7 out of 10. 4, 6, 1,000. Sketchy kill, kills. My man. 7.79. 10 for the effort. Guys, thank you so much. That's made me feel so much better about myself. That was definitely like an average of 8 in the chat right now, at least. And an 8 out of 10 is pretty good by my standards. Like, that's... That's pretty good. I'll take. I'll definitely take an out of ten. Any day of the week. Well, you got 50, 55 seconds left. Three all. This game is just as close as we all hoped it would be. But Vanilla slams it distance. Slams it distance. Slams it the distance. Sorry, I'm still like thinking about jokes here. And what a pass by Petrick. He did not mean to hit the ball anywhere near that hard. And he definitely didn't mean to. Uh, step forward into no man's land after the fact. What a comeback by Vanilla. Three goal swing. And another open at miss though. Could have put it almost beyond all doubt with how low, low scored in this game has been. Two goal advantage this late in the match is huge. You'd almost need a kickoff goal if you're Petrick in that situation. And he's zipping around the field. Not taking his time. Speaking of not taking your time, Vanilla rushes his head. Oh my goodness, Patrick, what is that? One of the worst shots I've ever seen, followed by an almost flip reset sideways shot. If there were no walls in Rocket League, we'd have seen two throw-ins in a row there. And Patrick needs a goal right now, or it's all going to be over. Can he find it? That's not bad, but it's not good enough either. And Vanilla lets it drop Look what I just and takes the tournament. Their nation, hey, the tier one, two month, welcome back. Now you need to try your diamond bean and see if it still works, because it might not work anymore. Yeah, you said tier one. I don't know what on earth is going on. Vanilla takes it, uh, and if you know any hopes that Petrick had for Fortnite with Jesse is probably out the window now. Jesse only likes to play with uh, players who win tournaments. GG, so close final. I like that. What up, Vanilla? Fun games, fun games. Thanks for the prime sub original Sharpie. Appreciate it. Where's your yeah nation? You need to see. Do you have it? Or have Twitch like just scammed you? Have they taken it away from you? Try the diamond bean. Let's see. Let's see what happens. By the way, if anybody's wondering what I'm talking about, Nation uh, had the diamond bean earlier. That means he's a tier 3 sub. Um, but for some reason he thought that, or you know, Twitch or his PayPal informed him that uh, Twitch had taken a resub off that tier 3. And his diamond bean was still there, but I didn't get any notifications. I was like, I really don't know what's, what's happened, what happened to me. And now he's managed to resub with one or tier one. See, now he's he still got it. What on earth is going on here? I don't get that. How can you tier one resub and still have the diamond bean? That is, ah, oh, that's just, I don't get it. I don't understand. Maybe one day I'll be good enough to understand.